Yeah, they're all not going to stay, that's for sure. The uh, You know, I was thinking about this, and whether it's Buffalo, whether it's Chicago, whether it's Dallas, when you start getting into quarterback competitions, it's going to be interesting to see how this condensed offseason really impacts what that looks like. Now, oftentimes, over the course of a camp and the course of an offseason, the cream will kind of rise at the top and you'll be able to separate yourself or get separated from when you're in a camp like that just because the daily amount of work that you put in together players can tell coaches can tell personnel people can tell you know who's who's got the little bit higher ceiling who's got the higher trajectory usually very rarely is it like the last day cut who's it going to be or like who performed best in the preseason game four you know it just doesn't matter usually those decisions are made i think most times before you even get to camp but sometimes there will be a legitimate competition whether it's for the starter which is extremely rare and probably pretty detrimental to your organization or to a backup or to a roster spot even if they're going to keep a third guy you know or a two and a half type guy or a practice squad type guy and so that competition is going to be impacted by this situation in the offseason whether it's working out together whether it's you know a condensed camp whether it's condensed preseason and what that does to jobs you know in competition i think will be interesting to monitor i don't have an idea about how it's going to play out i would imagine it would give veteran guys an advantage but nowadays quarterbacks are so you know well coached at that at that elite level they come in i think that's really why they're playing so well they get so many more throws on the seven on seven circuit come growing up so many more throws in most offenses with the rpo game and different ways to get the ball out of the quarterback's hands at younger levels it's not a lot of seven step drop you know at any level and so quarterbacks come in ready to go and the game at the pro level has evolved to a little bit more collegiate as far as horizontal stretches of the field and so i think younger guys have a have come in and shown that they can play better than, you know, a generation ago when you came in and everyone was expected to sit. Everyone, for the most part. And so, you know, it just, I can only think if I was going to, you know, put myself in the mindset where I got to go compete for a job in the NFL in a camp, whether it's a two or three or a one, you know, would I rather be a, a veteran guy? Absolutely. But I think that'd probably be the case any off season. I think the condensed thing is going to be a struggle for a lot of rookies. I think it, it just is. And it's always a struggle to be a rookie because in my mindset, they're playing for 18 months. What I mean by that is when you go through the draft, the bowl game experience, the draft experience, the combine experience, you're never taking any time off. Not that you take time off as a pro, but you take time out of like the rigor of a schedule of a time of I'm going to be working out with my trainer at, you know, 7 a.m. to go over my 40 start. That's something that's not relevant to how I play in the fall. Those things evolve and change. But when you're in that 18 month cycle of your final season in college, the draft prep, the draft in your rookie year where you hit that rookie wall, that's a beast of an 18 months. You know, they think it's a rookie season, but it's not really the rookie season. It's that 18 month cycle that really chews people up. And maybe it's a little bit easier because they aren't at the facility. They aren't, they now have this little window where they can kind of get their mind right to be what it's like to go in there and compete and take someone's job, someone's livelihood in camp. But just a, an interesting thing to monitor. And it's not just a quarterback situation. It will be every position at every camp and probably at every level, not just a professional level. But there's this idea that, you know, something has to evolve, whether it's how they get their information, the installations, you know, the, the evolution of the learning, all those things come together to say, like, what the hell is going to happen when we're out of this kind of shutdown?